Welcome judges. My name is Bob Everly. I'm the regional director of region five. And I'd like to start by just welcoming you and thanking you for doing what you're going to do for us. We couldn't do this without you. The Pennsylvania Junior Academy of Sciences purpose is to promote greater participation in science and mathematics activities among the youth of Pennsylvania. PJAS exists to improve the quality of the achievement in math and science by encouraging students to participate in research and develop original ideas. Through this process, students learn how to use the scientific method and become better critical thinkers. Let's talk about the materials that you'll be receiving from us. You'll have to download the scoring rubric, score sheets, and comment sheets from the judges materials folder. And then the presentations from the student presentation folder, which will be shared with you via email. The folder that you receive will look something like this. It will have judges material and student presentations. Each presentation is in two parts. One is the PDF slide presentation and two, the audio file MP3 or M M4A extension. Please make sure to sync the beginning of the audio file to the slide presentation for each student. Once the presentation begins, the student will be heard talking you through the slides and will indicate when the slide is to be advanced to the next. All presentations will be under 10 minutes and 30 seconds. Now, an overview of the competition. Scoring specifics. Using the rubric, score each of the five categories of the judging criteria on a five-point integer system. No decimals, no fractions. Upon completion, the average score of the five categories shall dictate the award received. The awards are first award, an average score of 4.0 or higher, second award, average score of 3.0 or higher, and third award, average score below 3.0. Competition overview. Students are not in competition against each other. Evaluation and score should be based on how successful the presenter is at fulfilling the five PJAS scoring criteria. Therefore, there is no limit to the number of each award given for a second or third you may find that you might end up with all first awards or possibly no first awards at all. You will be the judge of that. Presentation considerations. Please keep in mind that PJS participants are children who are just beginning to work and think as scientists. They are not PhD candidates, nor are they presenting a university level thesis. These are mostly first time presenters and will be extremely anxious. Focus on the project, not so much on their ability to speak eloquently. Pay attention to the research, experimental design plan, experimental procedure, analysis of data collected, and the conclusion for their age, and that they have never done presentations like this before. You may see a presenter who has done PJS in previous years, but even they would not have done it in this way. COVID has made it necessary to change the presentations from live in front of judges to what we are doing now. You'll find comment sheets. We consider these very useful for the students. Please take the time to write some suggestions for improvement for each presenter. These will be given to the sponsor of the student, not directly to the student. The sponsor will then use this constructive criticism to help their students improve for the future. The most important goal of PJAS is to help our students become better experimenters, better scientists. When completed, please attach your score sheet and comment sheets to an email and send it to me, Bob Everly, PJS director at everly at suskew.edu. That's E-V-E-R-L-Y at S-U-S-Q-U dot E-D-U. We are asking that you try to get these back to us by Saturday, March 14th. That gives you a week. Any suggestions, questions, comments, concerns, please send to the same email address mentioned above. Thank you for all your help. Sincerely, Bob Beverly.